So, two and a half months on, has the All Powers battery pack been an improvement on Mega Bread Van? So first of all, I need to, to set up, well, the setup. Um, so, basically this little box here is powering uh, quite a few things. Well, a few things. Um, it's powering a speaker, the interior light, um, a car puride, which is a sort of car play sort of thing that links to my phone. Uh, it's powering my dash cam. And I'm also, as I said in the last video, I've sorted out this little problem of um, trying to charge up the power pack from a 12 volt battery. Now, the last time I had, uh, if you remember, if you look in a, the other video two months ago, uh, I had a cigarette lighter socket with a DC um, jack socket plugged into the power pack, thinking rather foolishly, because I know nothing about electronics, um, rather foolishly that it was actually um, charging up the 12 volt battery from the power pack which is totally ludicrous and that does not work i've tried another few things uh, as well and it sucks in blowing the fuse in in one lead so it doesn't work that way um, and i'll explain why but before i do that uh, i'm going to set everything up so uh, normally i'll put the the dash cam at the bottom of the windscreen which is probably not a good idea but unfortunately if i put it at the top here then it tends to um, wobble about when I do the, the playback. Uh, so I stick it down here, like that, okay, and plug it in. And I'll tell you about the leads and everything later on. Just make sure that's nice and tight, otherwise it tends to swivel around. The, the carpuride um, tends to be a bit of a, a pain to, to set up. Um, I've got used to it now because you've got these little notches on the back um, you can see that and they notch into um, into this here so it fits in there like like this with the notches and I just insert it in and push down now I haven't got a clue if that's on camera but uh, basically I've, I've done a little little bit of filming the actual notches on the back so you can see what I mean um, so yeah that's that done in fact before doing that I need to actually um, plug in the the leads so uh, here for the leads you've got a jack plug for the speaker and a power DC jack plug to power the carpuride so those need to be plugged in uh, on the side here so you've got the jack plug is on the left then you've got a USB plug and then you've got the um, speaker out you've got a camera out you've got an SD slot and one for a microphone because if you're going to do voice commands in a mega multi-truck in mega bread van then you need a microphone plugged in because otherwise it won't hear um, the carpio I won't hear on the inbuilt microphone if it's not that good so we'll plug those in so generally I tend to prefer to, to have the actual engine running which is why I put my external mic on otherwise you won't be able to hear me uh, for the simple reason being that the uh, dash cam is actually running off the 12 volt battery Everything else is running off the power pack. So I'm going to start up and we'll carry on setting everything up and I'll show you how everything works. So the useful thing is, is that when I start up, I can actually see the voltmeter. So there I've, I've heated the, the glow plugs once and I'll do it a second time. And I think at the moment the battery is a bit low. I'm not sure why, but uh, sometimes it doesn't start first time. And now I've heated the glow plugs up twice. And there we go. 
This is something I have to sort out before the the MOT control technique. So when I first get in the van, the first thing I do is to to switch on the the power pack. So to do that, it's a long press on the button on the front. There you go, and that gives us 99 hours. At the moment, it's 83%. Now, perhaps it's a bit feeble. With the engine running, I've rigged up, um, as I told you before, I had a cigarette lighter plug trying to charge up this power pack. And in fact, talking to a friend, he told me that I'd only get a 5 volt charge. So, that's this here. So, on this voltmeter, voltmeter stroke, multi plug for the cigarette lighters, cigarette lighters, cigarette lighter plugs, um, I've got a USB plug with a switch so I can switch it off I can switch off the charge so it doesn't really charge up a great deal but it's better than nothing for the minute and I'll talk about that later uh, why but if I switch it on you can see that the top here has only gone up to 3 watts usually it goes up to about 5 so I'm not quite sure why it's not gone to 5 but Usually it will charge at 5 watts, probably because I'm not moving. So that'll be the first thing I do, I'll switch on the battery and then the next thing will be to switch on the carpuride and the speaker. So I've, set, I've rigged up some buttons here on the USB hub to do just that. So if I press this button that will switch on the speaker and this button should switch on the carpure ride. Okay, so that's the second button along, and the carpure ride switches on. After that, then I've got the the multi prise. I'm speaking French now. The multi plug for the cigarette lighter, which will switch on the dash cam. There we go. So I have to wait a little while usually, and then I can set up the the carpure ride. So that's basically what I do when I switch on. And of course that has now gone down because it's powering the, the dash cam and it says it can power it for 14 hours. So that's, that's pretty good. So we can see the car puride is now switched on and it's now logged on to my phone. So we've got the usual thing, we've got Google Maps. I've set up the radio, I've set up the telephone and everything. I will do the video another time uh, about the carpure ride because it would be more interesting to concentrate on that in greater detail but basically I've got my radio here I'm not going to play anything on it because well I'll just play a little bit because of copyright reasons but basically I'll, I'll click on my my radio my favourites and I tend to listen to Radio 2 so Radio 2 is right at the, the bottom I've got BBC Radio Leicester as well and now I've got BBC Radio 2 just here. Uh, my speaker's not switched on. So if I switch my speaker on, there we go. I should get some sound out of it. There we go, we switched that off because I don't want to get done for copyright. And so that, that tends to work quite well. So all in all, it's quite a good setup. Um, and that's, that's why it's useful. Now, uh, taking things a bit further, um, I went to the UK recently, as you've probably seen in, in the various shorts and things I've put on my channel. Uh, I haven't actually done much in the way of video since I've come back. Um, but uh, my friend Nigel um, is doing his uh, GoPod, which I did a video about as well. I know nothing about caravans, but I tried. And uh, he's putting a solar panel on his GoPod. Now, we were looking into solar panels and it's entirely feasible that I could have a solar panel to A, top up the charge on this and B, top up the charge on the 12 volt battery because with a control unit I could have the two wires doing that which I think would be a good idea. Uh, it's not something I can do at the moment but we worked out that it would be something in the region of 100 euros to set it all up. So it, it's something I want to do in the future. But at the moment, I'm going to just concentrate on 
um, the control technique and the MOT. So we'll switch everything off. So uh, what I usually do is I'll just take this so that I can show you. It's a lot easier using a second camera. Um, but first of all, I'll switch this off because the last thing I want to do is to leave that switched on because it, it probably won't flatten the 12 volt battery, but I don't want to take the risk. I've already flattened the battery leaving the headlights on. So, so can hear ourselves think, I'll switch the engine off. So, uh, we'll switch off the, the dash cam. That should switch off, there we go. And so, for the carpure ride and the speakers, well it's very easy really, I just uh, press my, my buttons on here. So, boom, and that will switch off. And there you go. And obviously I'll switch off the, the power pack. Long press on the button here on the all power, power pack. And it will switch that off as well. And there you go. And the speaker tends to switch itself off. So, um, yeah. It's just, I've got used to doing that now. It means I can listen to the radio. I can do hands-free calls when I'm stationary and so on. So that's that's pretty good, isn't it? So all in all, I'm very pleased with the, the All Powers Power Pack. Uh, I thought it was probably a waste of money, um, just a, a toy, so to speak. But yeah, um, I think that it's quite useful in uh, being able to power everything up without putting too much strain on the 12 volt battery in this van. And I think that those of you that have uh, owned uh, a mega multi truck or perhaps a, a some permi car uh, will know that the 12 volt battery on these vehicles um it tends to well like all 12 volt batteries i suppose but it, it tends to be uh, a little bit temperamental especially with all the damp weather we've had about a lot of rain uh, over the last uh, few months and uh, that's made life very difficult when um running things basically off a 12 volt battery it makes life a lot easier running it off a power pack, excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat, uh, running off a power pack. Um, and I think with a solar panel, it might be interesting to see uh, if that will just keep everything charged without having to keep charging it up from the mains. So with that, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found what I like to say interesting in this whole setup. Uh, feel free to ask uh, any questions you like about it. Um, and I'll be interested to, I'll be interested to uh, reply to them. So take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.